Now, this is a tip that's mainly relevant to students that are um, freshmen and sophomores. Do we have any freshmen and sophomores or parents of freshmen and sophomores um, here? Okay, so a few. Um, so, for those of you that are sophomores or younger, um, what I want to do is tell you about a way to easily get $100,000 in scholarships. So, uh, basically, if you score well on the PSAT, you can receive over $100,000 in scholarships. The PSAT is also the National Merit Qual uh, Scholarship Qualifying Test. Uh, National Merit is not only imp an impressive award to have on your college application, but it's also a scholarship. Um, so you'll get a $2,500 scholarship directly from National Merit, but more importantly, a lot of universities offer half tuition or full tuition scholarships exclusively to National Merit scholars. So let me give you some examples of full tuition scholarships. Um, for example, the University of Arizona here gives you $120,000, um, a full tuition scholarship that's worth $120,000. They give you an iPad and an extra $1,500 just because you're a National Merit Scholar. Uh, UNLV, I know a lot of students here are from Vegas, uh, gives you $80,000 plus they get, pay all of your expenses to study abroad, whether you want to go to Europe or something like that. Um, so those are just some examples of uh, literally dozens around the nations of universities that give full tuition scholarships to National Merit finalists. A lot of universities give half tuition scholarships. So um, USC, where I currently go to med school, gives you $100,000, um, a half tuition scholarship basically at USC. Uh, for four years if you're a National Merit Scholar. Uh, UNR, again, I know a lot of people are from Nevada here, gives you a half tuition scholarship worth $70,000. And this is all just because you're a National Merit finalist, right? And so you can essentially receive $100,000 to $200,000 just for scoring high on one test. But how high do you really need to score on the PSAT? So it really depends on the state in which you live. So more competitive states have higher national merit cutoff scores to become a national merit pilot. Um, so you want to look at your state's previous year's P PSAT cutoffs for national merit, um, and that'll give you a good idea of what you need to score in order to qualify. Now, unlike the SAT or the ACT that you can take multiple times, the PSAT can only be taken once, October of your junior year. Now, if you took it as a sophomore, that score does not count towards the national merit. That was only practice. So only October of your junior year, which is why I asked. This is only relevant really to freshmen and sophomores because October of junior of your junior year already passed for juniors. Um, so it's really only freshmen and sophomores in this seminar that this particular tip is relevant for. Um, and so what you don't need to do is study for the PSAT separately from the SAT. We actually don't offer a PSAT course because the PSAT is really just an easier version of the SAT. There's no essay, there's easier math, it's half the length of the SAT. So students should just study for the SAT. If your child studies for the SAT prior to October of his or her junior year, then your student will basically be over-prepared for the PSAT. So make sure your child is in good position to score well on the PSAT so that he, can qualify for na he or she can qualify for national merit. Yeah, so unfortunately, if uh, most students, yeah, most students didn't think the PSAT counted for much, um, and you don't take it very seriously. Unfortunately, like if you, if October of your junior year when you took that PSAT has passed, you don't qualify for these things anymore. And now you need to just focus on scoring real well on the SAT and hope that the SAT will qualify you for a lot of scholarships at many universities, which it can. Um, so that's really your only option now. But for students whose October of their junior year has not passed yet, Definitely, definitely, definitely become a National Merit Scholar. There's all kinds of benefits, as I've already shown you. Um, half tuition scholarships, full tuition scholarships, $2,500 scholarship. Uh, it'll be great on college application, et cetera, right? Um, no, if you qualify, you're immediately con uh, considered. Yeah, exactly.